Okay, so here's another quadratic equation that you're being asked to solve for zero. And again, it can't be factored. If you were to use the diamond problem and the generic rectangles, for instance, you would find that the multiplying 2 and 9 together, you'd have to find factors of 18 that added up to negative 5. So this is not factorable. So you go ahead and use the quadratic formula. You plug in 2, negative 5, and 9, the 2, the negative 5, and the 9, to this funky formula here, and you end up with this. 5 plus the square root of negative 47 over 4, and 5 minus the square root of negative 47 over 4. Hmm. Well, these solutions do not work. So there is no, there are no solutions to this quadratic quadratic equation using the quadratic formula because you cannot take the square root of a negative number. In fact, let's go into here. Let me go back in here. So if you try to take, I don't know if you tried to do this, you take a square root of a negative number. Let's put in, let's put negative 47 into there and see what happens. Quit. It's a non-real number. And so we're going to learn about non-real numbers later, but in, basically it's an imaginary number. In any ways, in any event, there is no solution to this quadratic equation. So, But we still can show that using a graph. So you're being asked, um, let's move it over to here, move this thing out of the way here and get on this. So in this problem number 25, you're being asked to show the solutions. Well, there are no solutions. So, so you went through that and you found there are no solutions. So that is what you would write there. But what does it mean to show the solutions on the graph? Well, you're going to show that there are no solutions on the graph basically by typing this equation in 2x squared minus 5x plus 9. And if you hit graph, whoa, the problem is hanging up there. So you want to show that on here and notice the um, window that you're given here. Let me move this over a little bit and see a little bit better. So if you look, it goes from x goes from negative 3 to 5, and y goes from like 1 to 16. And so I'm going to change my window so it looks just like that, so that I can then just use my graphing calculator to sketch a graph of this problem. And the problem still has a graph. There are still solutions to this equation. There are just no solutions to this equation when it's set equal to zero because the graph does not cross the y-axis. Okay, and then I go down to the y minimum, which in this case is negative one. And then the y maximum, which is at 16. So now when I hit graph, notice how I set my window to look like the graph that you're given from negative 3 to 5 and from negative 1 to 16 on the y. So hit graph. It should look very much like, although it doesn't have little grid lines in it. So all you're going to do now is just try to sketch this graph. I'm going to try to do it right now with my, my little virtual pencil. So we do know that 9 is the, so I'll put that on there, 9, woo woo. And then you don't really have to be real precise, you're just trying to just sketch sort of what it looks like. So it looks like it's somewhere around, somewhere around there. I'm not going to be, it's probably not going to be, it hits right around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, between 5 and 6. So, and then right around there, so I'm just going to woo. Oh, that's not so bad. It's sort of hard to use this thing. Okay, whoa, I went way off. Okay, uh, <laughs> well, you get the idea here. Let's try to neaten this up. So you're not going to have a virtual pencil, but if you put in your, you're just going to, the whole idea here really is to just show that the parabola, the graph of this equation, never crosses the x-axis. It hangs above it. And you're going to find on this one that the graph hangs below it. And so that's really what I want you to see, is that if you try to solve a quadratic equation that can't be factored and you find that you get no solutions because the, you can't take the square root of a negative number, you can still graph the solutions when it's not set equal to zero. There are just no solutions at zero. X never equals zero on this parabola. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.